Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the fourth book of Moses called Numbers chapter 19. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. And ye shall give her unto Eleazar the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Eleazar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin and her flesh and her blood, with her dung shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet, and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, and he shall bathe his flesh in water. And afterward he shall come into the camp, and the priest shall be unclean until the even. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water, and bathe his flesh in water, and shall be unclean until the even. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer, and lay them up without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification of sin. And he that gathereth the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the even. And it shall be unto the children of Israel, and unto the stranger that sojourneth among them, for a statue forever. He that toucheth the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify with it on the third day, and on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he purify not himself the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. Whosoever toucheth the dead body of any man that is dead, and purifieth not himself, defileth the tabernacle of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from Israel, because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean, his uncleanliness is yet upon him. This is the law, when a man dieth in a tent, all that come into the tent, and all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel which hath covered, which hath no covering bound upon it, is unclean. And whosoever toucheth one that is slain with a sword in the open fields, or a dead body, or a bone of a man, or a grave, shall be unclean seven days. And for an unclean person they shall take the ashes of the burnt heifer of purification for sin, and running water shall be put thereinto in a vessel. And a clean person shall take hyssop, and dip it in the water, and sprinkle it upon the tent, and upon all the vessels, and upon the persons that were there, and upon him that touched a bone, or one slain, or one dead, or a grave. And the clean person shall sprinkle upon the unclean on the third day, and on the seventh day, and on the seventh day he shall purify himself, and wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and shall be clean at even. But the man that shall be unclean, and shall not purify himself, that so, so shall be cut off from among the congregation. Because he hath defiled the sanctuary of the Lord, the water of separation hath not been sprinkled upon him, he is unclean. And it shall be a perpetual statue unto them, that he that sprinkleth the water of separation shall wash his clothes, and he that toucheth the water of separation shall be unclean until even. And whatsoever the unclean person toucheth shall be unclean, and the soul that toucheth it shall be unclean until even. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, the, the theme of this chapter, Numbers 19, is the idea of the purification by washing, you know, the sprinkling with water. 
the general idea of purification, as, as it says here in Numbers 19.9. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the hyphen, and lay them up without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification for the sin. Remember, I actually, I want to understand what is a hypher. Because this, this chapter starts off with the sacrifice of a red hypher. Right? So, a female bovine which has never been pregnant or milked or yoked. So the, the, the female has been specifically I probably raised for this purpose, or at least she's a female, so a, a, a cow that will is intended to give birth, but she has never been pregnant or milked or yoked. And the idea is to sacrifice this cow. And then of the ashes, one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin and her flesh and her blood with her dung shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast into the midst of the burning of the hyphen. And the priest shall wash his clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water. And afterward, he shall come into the camp and the priest shall be unclean until the even. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water and shall be unclean until the even. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the hyphen and lay them without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification. It is a purification for the sin. So, I'll remember that this purification water comes from a, a, a female cow, sacrificing a female cow, that has never been pregnant, milked, or set to yoke, which meaning set to work. And so, as a result of that, um, I, I actually wanted to mention this as a contrast between the sacrifice of Lord Jesus Christ and that that where he gives his life for the sins of man the sins of the world and then this sacrifice here and this I, I remember I read online so I was reading about the Bible in my free time and one of the chapters discusses how no animal sacrifice could ever compare to the sacrifice of Lord Jesus Christ no amount of sacrificing animals can purify one of sin um, when you look at the Lamb of God who entered willingly into his passion and was crucified on the cross at Calvary. And, and that I find to be so true. And that's why as an, the, as an evangelical, as I look to the future, um, and, and even now, I think about the value of Lord Jesus Christ and what he lived, gave his life for, and the word of God who preached fearlessly um, about the kingdom of God and what it takes to make it there. So I would say for me that I agree with that interpretation, that I don't disagree that Jews uh, are in heaven because there are Jewish people who are in heaven. Um, for example, uh, in the parable of Lazarus, of the rich man and the beggar, uh, Lazarus he's in heaven with the bosom on the bosom of Abraham and Abraham tells a rich man and he says son in your life you receive good things and Lazarus received bad things now he is comforted and you are tormented and so I know that there are Jews in heaven um, because again you also see Jesus um, I don't remember if it's at the transfiguration you see him with Elias John the Baptist and Moses um, So clearly indicating that, yeah, so Jesus is transfiguration. Um, and so you see, uh, excuse me, yeah, the, uh, the prophet Elijah, the Moses and Elijah, which again indicate that clearly there are Jews in heaven. So I'm not criticizing the Jewish, you know, the, the Old Testament here or Jewish traditions. What I'm saying is for me, my understanding is that no animal sacrifice can purify one of sin when you look at Lord Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross. That's really, for me, what, what saves a man from sin, is Lord Jesus Christ. And the fact that when the people 
in envy, wanted him crucified over Barbabas, he said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Amen. And so, with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over now to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked my software developer job. I worked at my core. I worked at my legs. I have created this Daily Diary video for 7-11-22. I created 33 Halo Infinite videos, and I created 100 Halo Infinite thumbnails. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.